Hello everybody, this is my review of the top 10 on pop songs in the US for, I'm checking it, it's the web, Billboard's website on August 10th and I think this is a Saturday yes this is a Saturday um, and so yeah, we're just going to review the top 10 pop songs which is not the same as the Hot 100 pop songs is what they play on um, Top 40 Radio the Hot 100 includes things like YouTube, radio sales, dig or radio plays, digital sales, uh, store sales. It includes pop songs, includes pop radio. So, um, anyways, uh, so yeah, so the top, the pop songs isn't as bad as the Hot 100. Is why I chose to review it this month, and I reviewed the Hot 100 last month. So we're going to review pop songs this month because it's not as bad. Number 10 is Cups, Pitch Perfect, When I'm Gone by Andra Kendrick. And, um, I don't love this song, but I don't hate this song either. If it comes on the radio, it's, you know, like, okay, when I'm gone, when I'm gone. I don't even remember how the song goes now, but, you know, it should be a top 20 hit, though, not top 10. But, you know, it's not as bad as a lot of the other top 10 songs, so I'm glad it's in the top 10 to save us. <laughs> and, um... Number nine is Same Love by Macklemore and Ryan Lewis featuring Mary Lambert. And I know Macklemore has a lot of hate-love kind of relationship with a lot of listeners to pop radio, but, um, and they are a bit overexposed, I guess is why a lot of people dislike them. But I really enjoyed this song in particular. It's about, you know, gay love, straight love, bisexual, pansexual, love is love. It's the same love no matter what you love. That's just the way it is. So I love Same Love. Um, Macklemore did a pretty good job with this song, and Mary Lambert did a great song uh, job on the chorus part. So yeah, it's, I actually like this song. Um, I'm surprised it's on the radio that high though, because it's more of a rap song, you know. But, I mean that's Macklemore. Anyway, number eight is "I Need Your Love" by Calvin Harris featuring Ellie Goulding. I really like this song as well. I love Ellie Goulding to Ellie Goulding to death. Really great song. I've liked this song for a while, and uh, I'm glad this is in the top ten. So so far we have a uh, a pretty good top ten on pop songs. Um, yeah, let's see if we can keep that going, and no. Number 7 is Treasure by Bruno Mars, and I think I reviewed this in last month's review when I reviewed the Hot 100, so check out my review of the Hot 100 if you want to see what I think of Treasure. The link for that video is down below. Um, the Other Side by Jason Derulo. Mm, I think I heard this when it came on the radio, but it's so forgettable and that I don't even remember it now. So, I mean, if it's that forgettable, it's probably not that good. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, Maroon 5. Maroon 5 sold their souls. I mean, Maroon 5 has a completely new sound now than they used to. Which, you know, they used to play the same sound over and over and over again. So I'm glad they changed it. But I mean, damn. Like, you just come off as just so in it for the money, you know? I don't know. Like, that would have been different if they would have been, like, saying, you know, we're going to, you know, try a little bit of this and that and this and that and this and that. But no, it just it feels like they're just wanting to become, you know, yeah. No, Maroon 5. No. Number four is Clarity by Zed featuring Foxes. I'm surprised this song is this high on the pop songs considering it's so low on the Hot 100. Um, I don't like that they include YouTube now on the Hot 100. I think that's what ruins the chart. Um, but, you know, that's why, um, they're sitting in the top ten on that. Clarity is a decent song. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's listenable. When it comes on the radio, I'll kind of listen to it. It's, it's, it's okay. Uh, number three is Get Lucky by Daft Punk featuring Kara Williams. I also talked about this in the Hot 100 review for last month, so check that out. Just link for that video is in the description. Number two is Radioactive by Match and Dragons. The review for that's in the description as well from last month's top ten review. And the top ten and the number one song is Blurred Lines by Robin Thicke featuring T.I. and Farrell. That was also in the top ten review from last month on the Hot 100. So check that out as well to see what I think of Blurred Lines. Um, let me see. I will tell you if they're good or bad though. Blurred Lines is bad. Radioactive is good ish, but it's been on for too long. Um, Daft Punk, or Get Lucky, okay, that, yeah, that song's bad, um, and I think those, oh, Treasure, Treasure's bad. Treasure's not as bad as the other songs on Bruno Mars' album, though, so I'm not gonna completely hate on it, you know? 
um, it's it's what it is but you know I still prefer Bruno Mars' first album over this album and this song by Bruno Mars Treasure I still don't like so anyways if you want to see a more me talk about the other songs that I said is in the last month's video then you'll have to watch last month's video if you haven't watched it yet um, if you did then you already know what I think of them um, or you've already at least seen it you may not remember it but you've seen it and uh, anyways let me know what you think of the top 10 is it good bad I think the pop songs definitely is better than the hot 100 but I definitely think pop songs could be better um, but I'll take it anyways I'll see y'all next time stay smeezy fuckers